I'm humming. <laughs> Can you see the stink coming off of me? That's what we're about as humans. You gotta stink. And I didn't write the rules, I just know the law. Yeah, New York! Welcome to this uh, blooper video, I'm Dave Puck. You know I kick ass and I'm gonna bring you the unedited best blooper video you ever seen in your whole life. The real world decade of bloopers. <laughs> Do you know who I am? No, absolutely no idea. You don't? Hey. You girls know who I am? Yeah, you're Puck. I'm Puck? Yeah, you are an asshole though. Everyone, <laughs> everyone thought you were wicked funny, but... Yeah, and kind of gross? Yeah, kind of gross, but you pissed everyone off. You're a winner. No mercy. <laughs> I make my mom proud. Do you? So, what's your, what's your favorite kind of blooper if you were to pick? Um, I definitely think when they catch people like clogging the toilets or like something that has to do with it's just really embarrassing, I think. I mean, you saw the episode where Melissa pooped and it all ran down <laughs> into the kitchen, right? On the that floor. Was for hemorrhoids. Hey, Julie, bring me the plunger. Don't let the flood this toilet. Oh, my God. I'm serious. What did it to you? I think burrito. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> or something around here. You want me to just do the towel? All this water is coming down in the kitchen over the countertops and the floor and everything. I just thought like the bathtub was flooding or something like that. Jamie gets out our good Tupperware and <laughs> cooking thing and catching cooking this. supplies to catch Melissa's dookie mess. I mean, it's what the hell? Down, dripping all but down the I had sides. no clue what it was coming down it's, out of the ceiling. It's like toilet water. I wish we had paper towels. It's just toilet water? Yeah. Toilet. Yes, it is. It dead serious is. <laughs> Get your towel up. She clogged it? Yes. <laughs> and then she got the plunger out and Gnarly. tried to go wreak havoc on it. And I realized that, like, all this water and soil on me was <laughs> Melissa. <laughs> she clogged the toilet. If it was regular water, no. No. There's, like, poop it's patrol in it. Water. Well, I have a sensitive butt, and this toilet is too sensitive for the kind of <laughs> that I take. <laughs> oh, this is so gross. Ugh. <laughs> Why did it have to be me? I want to be known as girl. <laughs> what's your uh, What's your favorite bodily function? What's what? What's your favorite <laughs> bodily function? Uh, probably urinating. Peeing. Yeah, Feels exactly. good. Feels very good. Feels good to pee. I don't know if I could say it on TV. Say it in my ear. I achieve Maximus. Uh, well, if to be a, honest. If you're a big kid, right? What's yeah. the big deal? Well, I burp. That's cool. I'm pretty good at that. Can I have a sample? <laughs> no. <laughs> Coming from a girl, the funniest is when a girl farts really loud. It's yeah. very, very funny. I don't know why, but I think that. I think it takes a lot more balls than burping. Uh, the moment, sweating. That's a good one. That's a first. <laughs> Nobody said sweating. I'm kind of hot. Uh, what's your personal favorite bodily I'm function? Like? Busting a fat load, bro. <laughs> Are you crazy? Oh, can you get crazy. that on TV and shit? Yeah. Busting a that, it's fat a nut. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I forgot what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> I can do the alphabet. That's okay. So what's your favorite like bodily function then? I'd have to go with queefing. Queefing? That's my best bodily function. That's pretty hot. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> 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 What is it about people in this house that people have to fart 
all the time. Yeah. Ew! Oh, oh my god, god he's farted! <laughs> Sorry. You know what I gotta do? I gotta fart. <laughs> Why do you have to leave and do that? Barking spiders. What the hell was that? Hey, You're nasty, Is ass. Is that that door? Yeah, it's a big, huge tarantula looking yeah. there. <laughs> Damn, ain't no spiders came that yeah, big. Huge. Yes. Hey, we gotta get some rain for those, man. <laughs> God, either that or sew your butt from John. <laughs> Barking spiders? Yeah, that's what those noises are. What? Yeah. What noises? Those are barking spiders. Oh. Chris Collins. They're really talking about spiders. <laughs> See, Colin is the champion of the fart game. You gotta play the fart game. I have no desire to play the fart game. <laughs> Look, I have man. ordered a gas mask for the house, though. Oh, God. You tell me you don't like that. Oh, my God. Honestly, that smells like cherries to you. You That's know it. That's offensive, you disgusting piece of. <laughs> Whoa. Fart is spiders. <laughs> That's a surefire way to get a camera person the hell away from you. Lori's the best farter. Yeah, Lori's the best farter. Lori, I, like Lori and I had a competition. She and uh kick your ass. That's all you got. That's all I got. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. <laughs> Lori is out of my league in farting. She is the best farter like so I've ever seen for a woman. I did the pull my finger. Yeah. Oh my god. It's a new game you play. Why? Let's see what happens. <laughs> Face that way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I just did that. <laughs> I'm gonna make my nose and put my boogers on your legs. Mm. We know absolutely everything about Melissa's feminine <laughs> hygiene, her Sexuality, I mean, we know every orifice in her body, we have a clear description of its function, we, we, its we, lack we. of use. I don't want to hear that. So I had to get my first picture so I could get on the pill. But she puts all these tools in there, she's like this, and she's in there. I'm like, that bitch, I can hear your Timex sticking in my ear, you better get out. <laughs> she just went on. I got home and I was like, you lost your bracelet, doc. I mean, I <laughs> <laughs> Melissa's vagina is definitely not a mystery to anyone in the Belfort. No. Not at all. No, not to anyone. Not to and anyone. Anywhere. <laughs> Every time I get a pap smear from a woman, it's like giving birth. She's like, let me just get out here. <laughs> Excuse me. She's like, okay, I see you over here. Mmm. They got some cells moving over here. There's a cluster over here. Let me step, let me step back out and get something. Let me get in there. I'll be right back. Okay. Now I got my gloves on. Sorry, I forgot them first. <laughs> Back inside, okay. I think you know we all know about your vagina. I think you need to get to know it more intimately. <laughs> I think you need to explore down there with one of your organs, maybe, per se. <laughs> What's up? Hey, okay. check this out. My house is so big, right, Shannon? Are you the only one home right now? No, yeah. My house is so big that it takes me so long to walk to the bathroom, so I'm pissing in a bottle at the phone right now. Okay, you know it. First way to go, you want to listen? You don't have a one? No, I don't want to listen. Oh, so, so good. Now, how, is there like, a, like a, a camera set in the house? Yeah, there's one on me right in the phone. I have a video phone. I look at my face as I'm talking on the phone. I can't believe I'm pissing on a bottle right now in my own house. I've never, ever in my life seen a boy that smells as bad as David it does. It's so ever. gross in general. <laughs> Steven's like, will you room with me? Because I don't want to share a room with David. <laughs> Leave me alone, oh my. Irene. Awful. What, is it my breath? No, your whole, like, being every time you walk by. Oh, my God. <laughs> David is a dirty son of a bitch. Good reach. Like I'm saying, like, over here, I smell David. Over here. <laughs> the kid would give you a kiss on the chicken and it would just linger. <laughs> like, you'd have, like, an inch of his tooth. On, it, on your cheek and you'd wipe it off and then your hand and your cheek would smell and it would just kind of emanate like throughout everything. I don't wear deodorant in the day because I don't need it. 
Like, I have legit clean armpits. You want to see them? <laughs> I don't need deodorant. <laughs> you don't, you, all right, you don't hear me, bro. I could go run a marathon and my pits still wouldn't stink. They're dynamite like that. Uh, for some reason, I have good pits. Dude, you are such a liar. Who's your favorite character off of the real world? Oh, come on. You, of course. Come on, you're just saying that because I'm here. <laughs> So, who is your favorite real world cast member? The most recent New York. I think they were the most, like, crazy. I think they were funny. Mike was funny. Mike, you know, he had he grew up a lot on the show. <laughs> the Miz does not get pinned. The Miz is just insane. It's scary to be around The Miz because you never know what he's going to do. The Miz is Mike's alter ego, which happens to be a professional wrestler who will kick everyone's ass. You don't understand The Miz. The Miz has the championship belt. He is the RW champion. You are nothing to him. Do you understand that? And I got three words for you, Tommy. What is it, baby? What is it? Eat shit. <laughs> That's two words, you dumb shit. R U V. Oh, oh, he gets him. So he gets him. No, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. I'm Get him, Lori. We're a tag team. It's coming. It's coming. He's People try to steal the Mrs. Belt all the damn time. But what happens when people steal the belt? They get this. They get theirs, and they get it hard. <laughs> I brought it for you. In it. My look is for you. You, motherfucker, you, do not, take, you, you do not take the Mrs. Belt. You One, two, three. You're damn right. Away. You're damn right, you little nitty. Just like rip off the motherfucker. Oh. You little motherfucker. You hear me? Good night, ladies. <laughs> you're done. Oh, that hurts. Stubble, you're in the garbage. You don't know why? Because you took the Mrs. Belt and you thought, no. <laughs> you're damn right. No one takes the Mrs. Belt. Stubble. And so, who's your favorite person on the real world? Um, I think Ted. Tech was the coolest. Did you like seeing Tech naked? Like, do you think it's cool that he jumped in the pool the first day and was just nude and like, this is how it's gonna be? Yeah, it's cool. You got to know who he was right off the bat. To me, nudity is not a big thing, you know, because I mean, we're all men and women in the house and I don't have like two Johnsons or three testicles. So, you know, I mean, pretty much everyone has the same thing. Baby. When Tech is naked, it's like a show. It's like the Tech nude show. And he just comes out and, you know, he'll have the towel draped ever so slightly and then all of a sudden it's gone and he's just waving the big black snake around. You gotta be naked every like two seconds. I don't need to see the big black snake. I thought we decided that. No more big black snake. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. Melissa was a good girl. She was not a bad girl. You faker. <laughs> <laughs> That's my twig and berries. Twig and berries will come out. <laughs> you stop it. Twig and berries, twig and berries. <laughs> why are you wearing a skirt without panties? It's kilts. That's why. It's kilts. It's not a skirt. <laughs> Melissa impersonates her parents almost to a T. Melissa, you go out bourbon trip. I better not see you show your sister. <laughs> I try not to, Mom. No, I'm serious. Those girls, they show their sister all they get necklace. That's dumb. <laughs> like it is. I'm like, Mercy, that's just how she work in New Orleans. Just shut up. You don't even know. Go on ahead, baby. You can do that. <laughs> when I was little, <clears throat> 
My dad pulled me aside and said, baby, this is gonna be a good lesson for you to learn. <laughs> I was like, what? And he's like, sometimes men, they don't feel fresh either. I was like, okay, and he's like, eh. They go through something called nut musk. I was like, what? He said, what? He said, they get nut musk. And it's pretty bad. So when you raise your son, make sure he wash his stuff. Like, okay. It was just random lesson for the day. Like, okay. How old were you when he told you this? Like seven. He said, what? Right here, Pug, man. So I'm your favorite Crazy, character man. in the real world. My favorite character, baby. <laughs> You. Definitely you. No, you flicking boogers on people, yo. That shit was crazy, son. That's the craziest shit. You can't get crazier than just boogers, huh? Nah. I'm hoping we're gonna whoosh, work it out into yin yang. Wait. Like the nudity? <laughs> Would you like to see more nudity oh, on the real world? Always. Always more know. nudity, right? Naked guys <laughs> and girls everywhere. Oh, yeah. Everybody getting freaky deaky. I think nudity is the greatest thing ever. I can't. There's freedom in nudity. Yeah. Oh, definitely. I'm a fan of nudity. It's natural. I love to see breasts and ass and bouncing. I think it's cool. Hey, you want to be nude, be nude. Would you get naked on TV? No. But I don't think I'd be nude. No nudity from me. This is my mother and she taught me better. Oh, oh. yeah, I did teach her better. Sorry, and she would be so you. very embarrassed if I'm I did that. I'm embarrassed. Would I get naked? I don't know, you never know. Definitely. Definitely. Nudity, I'm a nudist. What's your favorite nude moment on The Real World? My favorite nude moment would be when Ruthie, out of the Hawaii cast, uh, on her first episode, actually took off her top and actually went in the, the hot tub. Butt naked, as right when they got there. As soon as they get there. Yep, giddy up, that was so it, cool. This is how it's gonna go down. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. I'm naked! <laughs> I'm Ruthie, nice to meet you. <laughs> Over there, I'm the naked boy, that's Ted. So is this a television program or a nudist colony? What's happening here? I'd say the first time I met Tech, I shook his hand and I didn't even notice that his testicles were hanging out. So man, I'm Tech, man. Nice to meet you, homie. Tech, cool penis, dude. Ruthie, nice boobs. Personally, I find it hard to take anybody seriously uh, who's trying to have a conversation with me and her breasts are hanging out. Ruthie? Yeah? Hey, can you come here for a sec? Mm -hmm. Are you naked? I'm sorry. Do the towel there, do the towel. Okay. Um, I need to, like, bounce, like, 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 Were you talking to a hairy <laughs> <laughs> Okay, because I just saw you talking to a hairy <laughs> I just said, can you please be quiet or leave the spa? She said, okay. Were you looking at her <laughs> while you were saying that? <laughs> or her <laughs> Which one, Justin? I was looking at her glazed eyes, to be exact. So you didn't notice the at all? Oh, I don't know. To be sure I noticed that. The because I... I'm naked. I looked over and all I saw was I have a gun beard. <laughs> things are starting to scare me in this house. It's like we live in the Twilight Zone and Ruthie's narrating it. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is the hairy <laughs> episode. <laughs> Sometimes nudity can be contagious. Give me a hug! Give me a hug! Give me a hug! Fairly comfortable with going National Geographic. You want to see one of my naked roommates? Her name's Kaya. She's naked all the time. That's her. Hi. So Dan and I have decided the, that we would like to start a nudist colony. And we're going to be totally naked from here on out. We've already begun. We believe that clothes just inhibit the real person. 
And it's too damn hot in New Orleans for clothes, too. Mm -hmm. It's and too hot. I personally am hoping that by flaunting my breasts, that Danny will be attracted to me in sort of a, sort of a, what is it, animalistic kind of way. Kind of like an Adam and Eve type way? Yes, I'm Eve. Well, sorry, but I dig Adam. I know. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> Oops. Damn it. In the confessional, I would, I wouldn't take it seriously because I'm not really for like you know like you know spruing my thoughts. Yeah, I'd be stupid. I'd be funny. Like I like when like Man, like Montana and the other cast how they like made like they always did stupid stuff in front of when they're like the band from London or something. Like yeah. yeah. <laughs> I tend to get a little carried away. Yes. I go down there. I start cussing up a storm. You, you. Who's in my mind? <laughs> what do I have to do? Because we're tough moms. They call us the cool ones. Ready? Five, four, three, two. <laughs> Welcome to uh, London News. Sharon's just left. It's uh, Friday night and. Um, <laughs> I'm hearing some kind of strange feedback of my voice. It's echoing. Hello? S sound is... The sound is weird, Nia. The sound is weird. Ugh. Boobies! 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 I'm supposed to be blue, but I'm not. You see? Right, Lars, that's it. Out, babe. No, I mean it, because you're making me giggle now. I need to concentrate. I'm communicating with people here. What is Kaya? Is she bi? Is, I mean, she talked about, like, girls and stuff. Does she freak goats? Hey, uh, uh, this is my tape. I bought your uh, pants. Shut up. Real panics been somewhat black. Light just blew. I'm sweating here. I'm, I'm like thick in the fucking kitchen. I burnt my thumb. I'm sweating. It's horrible. Get me out of here. Get, get my boy out of here. Look at this fro. I'm finally doing my confessional, Billy. He got I got in trouble today for not doing a confessional last week. Really? Yeah. Don't you be yelling at my my friend. What are you doing? Come to share a There's a little bit of tomfoolery going on in the house. There's a few shenanigans as well. <laughs> yee My mood has changed significantly from when I, before the light blew. So now I get to tell the same story again. And possibly two more times after this. And the light just blew again. <laughs> there don't no belong. What is that, Dan? Three days. I've right. kissed Amaya. Have you did. done more than that? Come on, spill. Like I touched her butt once or twice. Yeah. How's that doing? <laughs> I don't have no deep down desire to be a white man. It's just a deep down desire to get rid of these. Hey. There's gonna be a lot of hate mail about this one. I can tell. See ya. Wouldn't wanna be. Uh... Let it That's, a That's, That's a wrap. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. That was good. When I'm bored, I, I sing Human League songs. Like, don't you want me, baby? I took my balls, I put it inside the milk, and I turned the milk upside down. Oh. Yeah. Smoking yeah. grass. A smoking grass? <laughs> you can't smoke on camera to get mad. What do you do? Nothing. You don't do nothing? No. Man, you better find something. This is a big world. When I'm bored, I pretty much just watch TV or watch the real world. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> what are you acting like? I'm a gnome. A gnome with boots on? <laughs> what the hell do you think gnomes walk around in? Like Gucci Elf. heels? <laughs> no, or we go to Nails right, and we go. We try to get in there. The dude looks us left and right. Shit, he looks. You. 
That the guys would keep they, whatever. We'd buy a big thing of toilet paper. They'd take the toilet paper rolls and hide them in the room. So then we'd steal it from places. Yeah, because it was more fun to steal it than it was yeah. to buy it, and it became a big game. It's not. You always had to open the dogs. We stole toilet paper. But look what I got. Toilet paper. We steal toilet paper from the gym. <laughs> you girls are naughty. <laughs> What ended up happening was nobody wanted to buy it because everybody was so stubborn. Exactly, we were such a pig-headed house. And so we, so we ended it. up using wipe away, or those rip-away calendars. We never have toilet paper, Mom. You know what we use? You know those calendars that you rip off the days? We use that. Like, we never have toilet paper. How what often, it is, right, <laughs> are you that desperate that you take a legit calendar, like, you know, January 27th, Place it on the palm of your hand and gently wipe your. Damn, ass that was it. a good day. <laughs> oh yeah. You ever see that oh, shit on, the, on the, 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 the what is it, Discovery Channel, or whatever? The crocodile <laughs> animal plant. Oh, the the crocodile hunter. Hunter. Yeah. The homeless cyclone is is a dangerous creature sometimes. I see I see this like this guy you know uh, you know just laying there sleeping in the middle of Central Park. You gotta be you gotta be really quiet now, guys guys. And so I started poking at him, and like he would not wake up. He's up, ladies and gentlemen. He's up. He's up. The crocodile. The crocodile. He's dangerous. A dangerous and homo side brain. Tell him about the time you Oh, no, 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 no. We played. Oh, sorry about the baby. What? The time we, we pretended that uh, you were losing your virginity to me, and then I. Oh, yeah! And then I. And then I. I. Oh, we were. Yeah. And slap on. Um. Me. Our trip to Chappaquiddick. We were bored as hell, and we, we've been in our room all day long. Yeah, we, we had literally been room. in the room all day long, and we pretended. Jason and I pretended that we were introducing heterosexual, heterosexual sex to Genesis. to Genesis. The funny thing was, we kept opening and shutting the cable. Yeah, we kept. Like, <laughs> we grabbed the microphone. We grabbed the little mic. And we're going click, 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 click. Uh, 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 oh my God. He's doing this to get us up here. And you were slapping us, and then you were slapping your stomach like you were trying to stop me. I was slapping my ass. I was going. You know, that, that whole fasting juice thing was a trend that swept this house for at least a few days. You know what? Nothing like fasting juice. Really Freshly good. blended. You know, our fasting juice tasted a lot like margaritas. Well, I guess it's probably because we put margarita mix and tequila <laughs> in the blender. So our fasting juice has that little kick you don't get in the orange I think it's the juice. ginseng. I'm really feeling a clarity and an inner peace with all this fasting juice. <laughs> That's good. Not at all. I don't think you should have any more fasting juice. On Star. OnStar <laughs> is this like it's computer system, system in the car that's supposed to send you to where you want to go. And they can access their computers and get maps of any place in the country, and they can find your location of your car and then direct you to where you need to go. I swear Julie would call OnStar just to talk. Do you right have away. children? Do you see then? that? Oh, I see. I've right. got I've got two girls. Do you? Cute. Yeah. What are their names? Do you have any kids? Oh, that's really neat. Are you Mormon? That's cool. So am I. Do you drink soda? No, oh my God, me neither. Is there anything else I can do for you, Julie? No, I just kiss your daughters goodnight for us tonight. I'll do that. Okay. And then sometimes we just use OnStar to poke fun and like, one time we couldn't find Thrift City and I pretended I was Mercy. I came, my name is Melissa. I, I want to go um Thrift City in South Carrollton. 350 in South Townsend? No, no. Thrift, like a uh, cheap... Um, Thrifty? Thrift, yeah, Thrift, and then City, like New York City. City uh, Street? Thrift City is the store. Hey, you are not in New Orleans, so you guys have antenna, that's how you reach us, a walkie-talkie, something like that. Cellular tower. Are you hot where you are? You're in Michigan, right? I'm in Michigan. It's, yeah, sunny, it's sunny today, but not quite warm enough for me. Yeah, you have to wear your winter boot all year. <laughs> Just about. <laughs> okay, and it's Drift City. Yes, that's right. Will you be there in New Orleans? I okay. hope it's in New Orleans. I don't want to go Michigan, go Drift City. Oh, I hope not. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, we're sure where you're about two and a half miles away. You'll cross two, two lanes. Uh, two lanes or three lanes? No, the word, the street, Tulane, T-U-L-A-N-E. Oh, street name. Oh, I'm so crazy. I'm sorry. That's all right. Oh, thank you so much. I much appreciate it. Well, you're very welcome. Thank you for calling on, Star. We are here 24 hours if you need further assistance. 24 hours? You work that long? Well, not I, but somebody will be. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Yeah, all right, have a good day. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my gosh, it's coming back. <laughs> Take one. Let's talk to the director. I am a director of a porn. I made a porn. Um, I had as Kevin and Malik as my my stars, yeah. and uh, Lori and Yazella were, you know, those yeah. two, two girls. You know, yeah, I was very good. I was, I was, I was very happy with our we got. We were great. We weren't always getting the energy mm. we needed out of our actors, yeah. and that's the hardest part. Yeah, 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 really is. Is. I gotta be honest with you, it is the hardest part. But uh, it is a lot. You know, you know, you only can do so much with your, you know, with the film. You have to have good actors in order to be good director. Lori, come here. Lori, Lori, we need a we're playing a little role play here. And, and you're Basically, what you have to do is ride here. Camera tits, and she's gonna feel yours, and you guys. And kind of, we kind of kiss. You guys kind of kiss. From behind? Wait, time out, time out. No, 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 they might smell. Now, oh. I want. No, my feet smell matter. really it bad. Matter. Take your shoes off. Hey, my, knee, my left knee hurts. Take your shoes off. Take, take your shoes off. off. Are you not playing? Coral doesn't want to play. My Coral, left knee. Are you just a wife? I'll have you direct. You can't buy this. Listen to your director. Okay, my brother. Do you understand me? Okay. I'm the director here. Okay. This is what I want from both of you women. Put your legs. You ladies have to be moaning. I'm waiting on the man here. I'm not a moaner. You need to put your legs back here. Because I want you to be like this. Oh, my God. Hold on. I want you to be like this. I really want them to get into it because that's what you got to do to have a good porn is like have the girls get into it. I would say Mike definitely has a future as a porn director because he, he, he can be a porn director or a porn star. Yeah. What's the most embarrassing thing that you can think of that happened to you? Yeah, definitely involve alcohol. Yeah, thing. with me, yeah. You <laughs> too? Yeah. And showing off and... Get all liquored and just yeah. <laughs> take your clothes off. And show any moat. I was at a fashion show and I got completely hammered. I passed out in the bathroom. People were coming in. I was like, hello, don't mind me. I'll give you a good give one. Give me embarrassing. I'll give you a good one. When I was a uh, junior, junior in high school, I actually went to, uh, in Minneapolis, Rush was playing. Oh, yeah. They had third row seats. And I actually uh, drank in a van before, got in the got in the seat, sat down, and uh, started to get sick. Yeah. And as I was walking back, I uh, shit my pants. All right! I knew you were gonna tell a poop story. So and then he brought me to the stall. You're like at a, a concert. At a concert. With poop pants. Poop pants, so he took off the pants and walked out. Uh, Took out the underwear, walked out with the jeans, with all the. So you wore the same clothes with the well, poo. Well, nothing in I it. could, nothing I could do. But there was just less poo. Exactly. No, I don't. I don't think I ever got embarrassed. I'm very free spirited when it comes to being embarrassed. I don't get embarrassed. Ow! <laughs> Got pooped on. Yeah, we're in Africa, and Melissa is 
in heaven because for once we're in a mall. We're she not amongst shopping. animals in nature. And then this big old bird just <laughs> on her head. <laughs> oh, yeah. did something just on me? <laughs> oh my God, it did. Where? <laughs> in my hair. Where? Right there. This bird comes swooping down and I'm not talking like, <laughs> I'm not talking like a regular little birdie pellet. No, no, no. This bird has like, like green apple ninja. splatters. <laughs> no, it's... Is it? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Out of anyone that that bird or any bird was gonna <laughs> on, it was definitely gonna be you. You were like a karma conduit for bird <laughs> on, that, on that trip, and it was bound to happen. The most embarrassing thing that could have been caught on camera is like scratching your butt or flexing muscles or picking your nose, popping a zit. See where it goes. Under one roof. <laughs> and I'm that <got> Kleenex. <laughs> I can eat some, uh, what do they call those, like, leather things that go over your pants? Chaps. Chaps? I have some in my truck. Man, I probably, wow. I think I, uh, I'm good for a night around town. This is what matters. How, does that look all right? <laughs> I've got to get out of this now. <laughs> this, <laughs> this can't be a habit, all right? I have high maintenance hair. And because it's extremely dyed and bleached blonde, <laughs> I have to get it done every once in a while. Next time you see me, I'll hopefully have good hair. Okay, we'll be back. No, we'll, we'll be over You know what? Go to a stylist, <laughs> and they'll blow dry it and style it. Okay. So I go over to the blow drying lady, who somehow thinks that when I say I spike the back of my hair, it means I have a mullet. <laughs> Salon with a mullet. A genuine hard rock. I'm in the 80s and I live in a trailer park mullet. Okay, what did I tell you about? Cool, yo, hella. It's like hella, hella, hella. Ah, you know, hella. I say hella a lot, so they know. Yeah, hella. Hella, they're like, we never okay. say hella. Hella. <laughs> Can't break myself from that one. My mom was hella understanding, though. The teacher was hella cool. I told him I was hella lonely, though. He's like hella famous in California. Hella is just magnifying whatever you're saying, so it's like very. Their fries are though they're hella good, you know? They're yeah. all hella horny. The Bay Area is just hella slow, you know? I have hella Asian friends. My best friend. You have hella Asian friends, you said? Hella Asian friends. But she's hella nice, this girl Sarah. We've got hella work to do. Our assistant director, uh, Bob Fisher, that's who that was. He was running, we went to the beach, and the waves broke on him, and he was running with the big bag and the camera, <laughs> and he went down with everything. Just, <laughs> the wave broke on him. 
Oh yeah. Like he's laying they didn't even help him up. They're like, dude, you have a forty thousand dollars camera in the surf, but I'm gonna take pictures of you. <laughs> see, I would love to see more interviews with the crew members yeah. because I think that would be the most hilarious part. I'd like to see what they're doing. I'd like to see what they have to say about all these characters, like all their gossip, because I'm sure they have plenty of it. But it is time for me to run down how I feel about each and every one of these kids. Start out, Corey, hater. Rachel, pretty much hate her too. Um, Mo, <laughs> hate him. That's funny. That's comedy. Judd is a, a very talented uh, artist. Right. Now my hunch is everybody in production probably hates us by now. Right. And post-production so because you watch us day in day out. It's got to suck. You probably make fun of us to no end, and we know this. <laughs> so we don't like any of you either. Um, but I hate him too. I'm stealing this bucket, and I'm taking a couple of pillowcases, so there. I'm these muffins, and I'm taking the Frosted Flakes, too, so there. To the people in the control room. <laughs> <laughs> You're flying! You're flying! No! <laughs> Trust me! Trust me, I'm Korean. <laughs> what, what was that, man? You have any hidden talents? No. Dancing, singing? I can't dance. Can't sing? Not really. But I got like eight talents, you know. I mean, you know, a puck. My hidden talent. Um, I would have. To, I'm double jointed. That would be my hidden talent. I wanna be a pop star. <laughs> Pretty weird, huh? I mean, I can like reach my feet all the way up to my head. Does that does that count for anything? It's very interesting. Like that? I don't know. Is that anything? I'm a really bad juggler with balls on fire. Uh, I have a hidden talent, and my hidden talent is that, like Molly Ringwald in The Breakfast Club, I can apply my lipstick with my cleavage. You can. I can. Can we get a shot? Can we get a shot? No. <laughs> I apologize, it's not happening today. Why must I get the oven mitts? I will not burn my hands. <laughs> I'll work my tangy for you. I'll lay it down for you. I don't know what they were thinking when they made the word tanky up. <laughs> but tanky. It's supposed to be a your, your cooter. <laughs> I didn't know what the word tanky, tanky meant. It's like, I got my tanky for you. I lay it down for you. I'm like, I'm laying down my cooter for you. Eat a boo, tweet a boo, dwa. Tweet a boo, tweet a boo, Come on, be my baby tonight. Come on, be my baby tonight. I've seen the way you treated other thugs you've been with. Come on, be my baby tonight. Right on the beach. If you don't know, don't like to preach. Came out here and took my shoes off. Had me a honey, yes, I had to toss. Said I didn't have sex, but yes, I did. But I didn't have much sex in the crib. I hid away from the camera. And when I stroke, I got mass stamina. Huh. Finna go, my work is done. But one more time, let me stick out my tongue. I'll make you think. Yes, ladies, it's long and pink. 
Buy me a drink at the bar. Pretty soon I'll be a superstar. You see me on your screen, on your TV set. Big fat checks I will collect. Cash at the bank, go to my crib. Got to go back to the States. My time in Hawaii, yes, it's been great. My roommate they was all to the good. And if you don't know, then I wish you would. Ha ha, hey, ho ho. Peace out, Hawaii. Love y'all. Back to Peoria. Back to Atlanta. Back to the real world, baby. Peace. Yeah, thank you. That was really good. Thanks, thanks, bro. Thanks for humoring me. Oh, yes. See you later. Guys, weird. Where do you think he's from? Really? Mars. <laughs> all right, that's all I can bring you guys. I can't help you out no more, so until you do a few more years and I get some more blooper tape, that's it. I'm out. Yeah. Check me out. Hey, you think you can take me? Oh, I'll fuck you. You can wrestle me? We can wrestle for like 25 bucks. Let's do it. If you pin me, I'll get you VMA tickets. Let's do it. Come on. I got to take all day, dude. I can't. Come on, get you in the room. No, I think you might be able to get me, dude. He's a messenger, man. He's buff. That'd be a match. Wow, you got pretty eyes. Thanks. Ready? Right, it's hung up. Okay, here we go. Ah. <laughs> it's like a rock, dude. It's stuck in there. I think I. Have anybody got any, uh, like, tweezers? <laughs> do you have any hidden talents? Is this going to be nasty, too? No. Well, I won't do that one on TV, but I do have one. You do have a hidden talent. It's kind of annoying now. Okay. It's loud. Can you do it now? Yeah, I can make a funny noise. Hands down, that was the winner of the day. Oh, yeah. That was like and that was jungle. Clean oh, there's a dirtier version. So does your hidden talent and your, uh, and your favorite bodily function have anything to do with each other? Very I bet your neighbors so. appreciate that. <laughs> Even I'm very religious, let's put it that Yeah. Way. They fuck kicks ass. I'm, co I'm coming down there right now, man. That's it, you head. I'm out of here, man. Screw you guys.